What is a probiotic? Probiotics have become famous for their numerous health benefits for health and the body in general, and for the digestive system in particular. The term probiotic refers to beneficial live bacteria found in some types of foods, drinks, and dietary supplements, and beneficial bacteria are similar to these beneficial bacteria that occur naturally in the human body. Therefore, one of the benefits of probiotics is contributing to the strengthening of beneficial bacteria in the body, enhancing their important functions, such as maintaining the normal movement of the intestine, completing digestion processes, absorbing nutrients, and enhancing the body's resistance against picking up infections. Treatment and prevention of diarrhea probiotics reduce the chances of diarrhea, especially while taking antibiotics as diarrhea is a common side effect of antibiotics. Antibiotics eliminate harmful bacteria, but at the same time, they kill the percentage of normal beneficial bacteria in the body, which causes diarrhea. Reduce the symptoms of digestive disorders. Probiotics form a natural barrier to defend intestinal health and help control the symptoms of many digestive disorders, such as constipation, diarrhea, gas, and bloating. Probiotics help relieve symptoms and treat irritable bowel syndrome, enteritis, Crohn's disease. In addition, probiotics reduce the risk of developing necrotizing enterocolitis by 50. Strengthening the body's immunity probiotics help strengthen the body's immune system and protect against picking up infections as probiotics stimulate the production of natural antibodies in the body and immune cells such as T lymphocytes. Lose weight and reduce belly fat probiotics help to lose weight in several ways. For example, some types of probiotic pills prevent the absorption of fats from food and stimulate their excretion through feces instead of storing them in the body. Also, probiotics help to feel full for longer periods, stimulate the burning of more calories, and store less fat, thereby losing weight. Certain types of probiotics may stimulate slimming more than others. For example, Lactobacillus gesseri probiotics are known to reduce belly fat by up to 8.5. Reduce chronic fatigue. Reducing the severity of respiratory infections in children by 17. Reducing the symptoms of allergies and asthma. In addition to controlling the symptoms of cold, cough and fever, this is one of the benefits of probiotics for children. Reduce the risk of urinary tract infection and inflammation in women by 50 and contribute to the treatment and prevention of fungal infections, especially vaginal infections. Contribute to the treatment and relief of some types of allergies, such as skin allergies, eczema, lactose intolerance. Maintain heart health by reducing bad cholesterol in the blood and controlling high blood pressure. Maintain brain health and mental health, as probiotics reduce the risk of anxiety and depression. Maintain oral health, slowing the growth of some cancerous tumors. Probiotics can be obtained by consuming foods and drinks rich in them, or through supplements and probiotic pills in pharmacies. The best types of probiotics are those that are derived from eating foods and drinks rich in them. Natural probiotics can be found in the following foods. Fermented milk products, which are one of the most famous sources of natural probiotics, such as yogurt and some types of cheeses. Miso soup, a traditional Japanese soup made from fermented soybean paste. This soup is rich in beneficial bacteria. A small bowl of it contains more than 150 types of natural prebiotics. Sauerkraut, which is made by fermenting cabbage, and as a result of the fermentation process, sauerkraut is full of beneficial bacteria that help in the digestive process. Indian mushroom or kefir, which is a fermented milk product, but it contains a greater percentage of probiotics than yogurt, due to its fermentation by the use of bacteria and yeast. Kimchi, a Korean delicacy that represents another type of fermented cabbage, kimchi contains prebiotics that help in the digestive process and fight harmful bacteria that cause stomach ulcers. Kombucha tea, which is a fermented tea, 
and drinking this tea is one of the fastest ways to get probiotics, because it contains large amounts of them. Algae, especially green and blue algae, are important sources of probiotics, but they can only be obtained through supplements and pills, and they can also be added to juices or drinks. Sour pickles, which are rich sources of probiotics as long as they ferment naturally, that is, using salt and water and not adding any type of vinegar in their fermentation process. Dark chocolate, which is one of the most delicious foods rich in beneficial bacteria, and it is preferable to choose and eat chocolate that contains a high percentage of cocoa, preferably eaten before meals. Several different forms of probiotic supplements are available, such as liquid beverage, powder, probiotic pills, or capsules. Some types of probiotic pills also contain prebiotics, which are complex carbohydrates that feed the beneficial bacteria already present in the digestive tract. Lactobacillus acidophilus bacteria are the most common type of probiotics, which are found in yogurt and fermented foods. Bifidobacterium bacteria is one of the bacteria that are found in some milk derivatives, and bifidobacteria has many benefits. Pilarty yeast is found in some sources of probiotics, helps with diarrhea and other digestive disorders. The dosage of probiotics that are recommended to be taken in dietary supplements is in the range of 1 billion to 10 billion colony, forming units, and the beneficial bacteria should be alive in dietary supplements when ingested. The effect of probiotics usually begins to appear one to two weeks after the start of taking probiotic pills or obtaining them from their natural sources. The duration of the use of probiotics depends on the health condition to be treated with beneficial bacteria and some people may need to continue them for long periods as a preventive regimen after consulting a doctor. Increasing the proportion of probiotics more than the normal limit causes many harms and side effects, and among the harms of probiotic capsules are the following. Increased risk of infections in children and adults. An allergic reaction occurs. Disorders in the stomach, such as gas, bloating, diarrhea, especially in the first days of use, but often disappear after a while. The occurrence of holes in the intestines, infections of the mucous membranes. Weakened immune system. In general, probiotics are safe, but you should consult your doctor before taking probiotics to determine the appropriate dosage, as some people with weakened immunity may cause probiotic supplements some diseases because they contain live bacteria. 